Oh, it's about that time. Time for the CDW Rivalry of the Week, and you have to believe it's Ohio State taking on Michigan. How are you? It's Greg Amsinger coming to you from the Fieldhouse in New York with Trev Alberts and Brian Jones, and this is the game everyone was waiting for until last week when both teams lost. Could you imagine if Michigan came in right in a nine-game winning streak and Ohio State came in number one in the land? That did not happen. It's lost a little bit of its luster, but still we look forward to it. Tell me what you think. Who do you like in this one? First of all, it's great as a player coming off a loss. First of all, you don't want to lose, but coming off a loss, it's great to have a game of this magnitude sitting there in front of you. You know it's going to be easy to get up for the ball game. And it's going to be a slobber knocker. This is classic Big Ten, Big 11, 11 teams now. It's classic Big 11 conference football. I mean, three yards in a cloud of dust. But I like Michigan. I like him because of Manningham, that passing offense. Six straight, 100 receiving game for Manningham. Michael Hart's back. They rested. Why are you rested? Get that win right there versus Wisconsin. Then you worry about that next game. But they rested him. They rested Henny. They should be ready to go. I like Michigan in this ball game. They've lost the last three. Trevor Grease. Uh, can I talk now? Uh, it's been a while. No. No, listen. You said one thing. Really, you said something really, really intelligent earlier. Really? Yeah. You said it's going to be a slobber knocker. Oh, game. yeah. That, you know, that's all I said. That's the whole reason why you Ohio State. Stop listening State's, after that. That's the whole reason why Ohio State's going to win this game. I think the one thing about Ohio State last week against Illinois, I think the most shocking thing was that Illinois could rush for 260 mm -hmm. yards. But we talked about it, BJ, right. and how they had athletes and they got them in space and they got those Ohio State linebackers tentative because they were worried about the speed and quickness. That's not how Michigan's set up. Mm -hmm. This is a between the tackles team and a tight end. It's a, you know, this sets up perfectly for Ohio State's defense. If you think that Michigan will come out and have the same success running the ball against Ohio State that Illinois had, you're going to be flat out wrong. It's mm -hmm. a slobber knocker game. It's right down in the trenches. It sits up great. As long as Todd Beckman doesn't throw the three there interceptions and turn the ball over, I agree. Ohio State will go on the road. They'll be Michigan. They'll go to the Rose Bowl okay. and nobody will care. Okay, what is slobber knocker? I didn't That means the, the hitting is going to be so hard to slot, snot, and slobber get knocked out of you. Oh, that's your definition. What about yours? Well, you know you've been in a football game when you come in like at halftime or something. You know, you take off your helmet and there's just like goo all over your face. And you don't really <laughs> know what goo. it is. It's, it's like, it's, it's DNA. <laughs> it's like, it's just, it's. It's secretion. <laughs> I don't want to know what that goo is. All it's, I know is that Ohio State, Michigan was our CDW rivalry of the week. We'll see you next time on CSTV.com. Go Bucks.